In this video, we'll walk you through using your AccuCheck Instant S blood glucose meter. Now, if you're worried about learning the steps involved, don't be. This video is divided into small sections, so if you miss anything, you can always go back and watch that part again. Now, the first thing to do is to make sure that you have everything you need to start testing. You should have the following items, an AccuCheck Instant S meter, a container of AccuCheck Instant Test Strips, an AccuCheck Soft Clicks Lancing device, and an AccuCheck Soft Clicks Lancet. If you can't find something, or if you need assistance with any of the steps that follow, just contact the AccuCheck customer service. Next, let's walk through setting up and using the AccuCheck Soft Clicks Lancing device. First, you will need to load your lancing device. For this, you will need an AccuCheck Soft Clicks Lancet. Remove the cap from the lancing device. Now insert the lancet into the lancet holder as shown. Push it all the way in until it clicks in place. Twist and remove the protective cap from the lancet to expose the needle. Place the cap back on your lancing device. Be sure to align the notch on the cap with the mark as shown. The next step is to set the penetration depth to match your individual skin type. By turning the dial on the cap, you can select the depth of the lancet. Set the dial to 2 to begin with. You may need to adjust the setting a couple of times until you find the right level for your skin type. To use the lancing device, you first need to prime it. Press the priming button all the way down. The release button on the side of the lancing device has now turned yellow. This indicates that your lancing device is now primed and ready to use. Press the yellow button to release the lancet. This will lance your finger. This part is important. The AccuCheck Soft Clicks lancets are disposable and should only be used one time. A reused lancet is no longer sterile and will lose its sharpness and become more painful each time you lance your finger. When disposing of a lancet, always make sure that it cannot cause injury and always use a sharps container. To dispose of the lancet, remove the cap from the lancing device. To remove the used lancet, point the lancing device into the sharps container and eject the lancet by sliding the ejector forward as shown. Then put the cap back on the lancing device. Now you're ready to do a test. First, you'll need to choose a finger to take a sample from. It's best to alternate between fingers as they can become sensitive over time. Remember to always wash your hands with warm soapy water and dry them thoroughly before you test. Remove a test strip from the test strip container. And always remember to close the lid tightly. This helps protect the remaining strips. Insert a fresh test strip, metallic end first, into the meter. The arrow in the black circle indicates the right direction. The meter will turn on automatically. A flashing blood drop symbol appears on the display. Now it's time to use the lancing device. Place the pinhole opening firmly against your finger and press the yellow release button. This will lance your finger. Massage the finger in the direction of the fingertip to help the blood drop form. Touch the yellow edge of the test strip to the blood drop. This wide area for dosing makes it easy to fill with just a tiny drop. When enough blood has filled the test strip, the flashing hourglass symbol appears. Your blood glucose result will be ready in less than four seconds. It's just that easy. And now you have your test result. When your test result appears, the arrow shows if your result falls above, within, or below the target range. The target range is represented by the green region of the target range indicator. The arrow will flash if your result falls above or below this range. The target range can be individualized to meet your personal therapy goals. If you press the button, you can view your previous 7, 30, and 90-day averages on your display. One important final step, remove and dispose the used test strip. Then put everything in the carry case. You'll find more information in the user's manual that came with your meter. 
If you still have any questions, please visit accucheck.in. Thanks again for choosing the AccuCheck Instant S Blood Glucose Monitoring System.